this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to create this kind of transition in After Effects. Let's go to our composition here where I layered some clips and we'll start off by creating a new adjustment layer. And we're going to trim it down right about here using Control Shift D. I'm just going to shorten it for the duration period. And the first effect I'm going to add is a CC scale wipe. Let's go ahead and bring the stretch to maybe eight and the direction to zero. Now, basically this effect stretches out our frame here. So you can decide where you want it to be. So I'm going to set it about the center of my comp here and set a keyframe for my stretch. Let's hit U to bring it up. I'll go a few frames backwards here, set it to zero, go back here, a few frames forward and set it back to zero. Let's select the keyframes, hit F9, and so far we just got this stretchy type of look. I might lower the center here just a bit more, like so. And then I'm going to add a exposure effect. Set a keyframe on my transition point here for the exposure. Set it to about 5, you don't want to go too high on here. And we'll go back to this frame, set it to 0, and once again just align these keyframes. What I like to do on this effect though is go a few frames backwards and give it just a slight type of flash here. So maybe one, then another one, set it to zero. So we got the slight glow up and then the actual exposure happens. I'll also smooth these out, so hit F9. Now one final touch here, I wanna add a zoom type of effect here. So I'll add a transform, set a keyframe for my scale and let's set it to about 110 just to give it this kind of a glitchy vibe. And I do want to make this one a bit faster, so just a few frames backwards, set it to 100. Let's copy this one, a few frames forward, set it to 100. Maybe move this one just a bit. So, so far this is what we have. This might be a bit slow here on the zooming in, so I'm just gonna move these closer till we get something like this. All right, now obviously we don't want to make this every time we use this transition, so let's go ahead and save it as a preset. The way we do this is select these three effects here and we're going to animation, save animation preset. Now, once you've given it a name, you can create a new adjustment layer and it will pop up in your effects and presets. So I named mine flashy here. It seems to appear twice for some reason, but basically this is our setup. And then we just need to align the transition keyframe here. So right here. So then we have it applied without having to recreate it each time. And one more thing you need to keep in mind is you can change the direction here. So I can set it to 90, so it goes to the side and then maybe drag this just a bit here just to give it some variation depending on your clips. All right, so I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.